Jesus. I feel honored and I receive that honor humbly to be invited to pray, to say hi um, after having met your pastor uh, some month ago. When I first saw him, I was rather intrigued. I wonder who was that nice looking, well dressed guy. Your pastor. <laughs> yes, and since we've become friends in Jesus, and the last bit of meeting we held the crusade, the Back to Jesus movement, the Lord gave me to initiate. We uh, observed his demeanor, and I concluded that um, his heart was pure, and um, his heart was with the Lord and with the Lord's business, and uh, learned to respect him. We thank God for this opportunity to visit you and to greet you. You look so good and so nice. My, my blessing to meet uh, your bishop. And um, every time I meet someone from Liberia, I reiterate that uh, when I get married to my wife, I was automatically married to your country. And um, recently, you know, I believe having heard directly from the Lord that I should uh, seek citizenship. Uh, so I'm going to contact uh, Pastor Bill and others to help me. Um, this would be just taking time to, to make formal what has already been done practically. I spent some 14 years in the Lord's work in our beautiful Liberia. And uh, until it was time for me to leave, and I received the call to come to the United States, to South Carolina, specifically to begin the work for the Lord. And since he has been guiding, he has been protecting, he has been uh, helping, and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. So glad to see you. But today we celebrate, celebrate Jesus. In his resurrection. Amen. <coughs> Isn't it good to know that he's alive? Yes. Yeah. And he says, Because he lives, we shall live also. Amen. Yes, and, um, and that's the reason why he came to. Give us life and uh, even life to go out to live like the abundant life. Um, but uh, in the book of Isaiah, I believe it's chapter 53, um, God's word says, When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, Talking about Jesus, he shall see his seed. When God has made Jesus an offering for sin, Jesus shall see his children. That was a post resurrection reference. Uh, to follow his death and uh, we watch him in the book of Acts of the Apostle seeing his children just as God had promised he 
saw them gathered. They had been scattered. He did say so. He told them, it is written, the shepherd would be smitten and the sheep would be scattered. But when I am raised, I will gather you. And he saw them gathered. He brought them together. And he, in the midst, what a picture, what a portrait. Jesus, at the beginning, at the initiating of his glory, of his glorification in the midst of the disciples. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he is today seeing us gathered. Gathered by himself. Gathered <coughs> with himself. It's wonderful. And it is good to remind ourselves that Jesus is in the midst. Amen. And wherever he is, there are, there are gifts in his hand to distribute among those whose eyes are focused on him. So he saw them gathered, as we are gathered now. But he saw them redeemed when he shed his blood. Oh! The power thereof shed for our sins. And that's why the veil of the temple was torn from top to bottom. And uh, I told uh, the people to whom I was preaching recently, you know, when the veil was torn, and then uh, because because his, the veil of his body was was torn from head to toe, and then spiritually God became available and visible and audible and tangible. So man, the believing man said, God, let me shake your hand. God said, no, I need a hug. <laughs> I'm your father. And the blood, the blood, what power has brought us back? to God our Father. So then he is not just our God, but our Father watching over us, taking care of us. So he saw them gathered. He saw them redeemed. He saw them educated because it took uh, some 40 days with them, educating them, preparing them for kingdom expansion. At which time he promised them that uh, he would receive the Holy Spirit from the Father and he would pour upon them. What, what an event, his resurrection. But moreover, he saw them not only gathered, not only educated, not only redeemed, but he saw them, especially with his image. He had promised them, he that believeth on me, the, the works that I do shall he do also, even greater works, in terms of, uh, terms of uh, quantity. And so the, 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 the essence what what explains the, the fact, the, the happy fact of his resurrection is that he has left before ascending a body of children, his children looking just like him to show the world his love, to show the, the world his victory. To show the world his tenderness. To show the world his passion. To show the world his calling fulfillment. And 
so listen carefully. Bearing his image is something serious. Then you see, you need to know who he is. If you bear his image, well, he is Jesus, responsible to bring salvation to the world. That's your image. Amen. Salvation host and salvation carriers. Amen. Amen. With Jesus. But he is the Christ, anointed by the Father to fulfill his mission without failure. So why are his people afraid of going out? Why are they afraid of testifying? Why are they afraid of shouting his name? Because we are practically the continuation of Jesus. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me. Amen. Amen. The continuation of Jesus. Amen. And that's what the Holy Spirit came to enable us to do, yeah. to continue Jesus Amen. in his loving, in his working, in his establishing and extending the kingdom, in his blessing all the families of the earth. Amen. The Lord bless you today. Amen. The Lord keep you Amen. and the Lord transform you Amen. into the real image of Jesus. Amen. That his works may continue. That his gospel may continue. That his good news may continue. Amen. That his power may continue. Amen. And that he himself in us may tread the streets of Philadelphia. Amen. Shouting, shouting, shouting. Jesus was dead, but he's alive forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, shout with me. He's alive. He's alive. Again, he's alive. Again, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Amen. Lord, our bishop here. Lord, Pastor Miller, and those that collaborate with him. Lord, Pastor Bill. Lord, this body, your body, we thank you for them. Thank you for your presence. Continue until their perfection. Amen. Lord, we pray that the grace needed, you will impart. The revelation needed, you will impart. The strength needed, you will impart. And the provisions needed. Provision, spiritual, provision, social, provision, economic, provision, provision, provision. We ask that you will open the heaven this day and pour out everything needed for your contribution in this leadership and in this membership. And to you, Lord, to you and to you, our Lord. All the praise, all the glory forever. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Please, please listen. Bless you. Has been reduced to bless you. Uh, made the mockery so that this is a cliche, cliche to which we choose to respond or not. But there are certain people, are you listening? There are certain people who, when they stand, extending their hand to tell you the Lord bless you, the blessing is given. Amen. Amen. Lord, Jesus, in your name, you've made me your priest. And I'm so grateful. I lift my hand towards heaven and upon these people about to pronounce this blessing upon them. May your hand 
in my hand be extended towards them. Amen. And Lord, now in your name, I say, leadership, the Lord bless you. Amen. 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 Men of this church, the Lord bless you. Amen. Women of this church, the Lord bless you. Amen. Youth of this church, the Lord bless you. Amen. Children of this church, the Lord bless you. Amen. Body of Christ here, the Lord bless you. Amen. And this blessing is being transferred to you now. Amen. 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 Ah. Prophesy that because Jesus accompanies us this morning and brings us here, uh, some changes, oh! some changes are going to be effected in your life. Some changes are going to be effected in this ministry. And uh, Friends and foes are going to be astonished Amen. at the presence of Jesus in this place, which will make itself felt wonderfully and powerfully. Bishop, Pastor, Bill, leaders, men, women, Boys, girls, the heavens are open now, Amen. and the Lord is pouring a blessing upon you right now. Yes. Come on, lift your lift your voice, tell him thank you. Thank thank you. you. Thank Lord, we thank you for the blessing you are imparting now. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening because you don't speak in vain. Who? We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Ah!